Thank you again for joining us on the program. Now, as global leaders met at the United Nations General Assembly last week, giving speeches and working out relations, a high-level meeting on the Central African Republic, CAR, took place. There, UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres praised the current peace and reconciliation efforts in uh, the country and called on the authorities in the CAR to ensure women are central participants and drivers of progress. The UN Undersecretary General for Peace Operations, John Pierre Lacroix, said last week that it was agreed to give a new strong impetus to political efforts focused on the African Union initiative. Last year, the Central African crisis was already on the agenda of this UN General Assembly. Pafel Ananga Anyanga is the head of the UN's integrated peacekeeping mission in the CR, known as MINUSCA. And our U.S. correspondent, Irene Herman Ungo, caught up with him in an interview and asked him about what he made of the current peace efforts. Let's take a listen. Look, this is slow processes. It's never easy. It's never a foregone conclusion. Today, we must be satisfied with the fact that for more than six months, Thanks to the facilitation of the African Union and the countries of the sub-region, including Central African states, we have a dialogue, we have a facilitation that has made it possible to launch this dialogue process under the edges of the African Initiative for Peace and Reconciliation in the Central African Republic. Last month in Bawa, we attended an important event that allowed armed groups to come together around facilitation and where they were able to harmonize their demands in order to submit them to the government. This was done on August 31st. We have a process that is moving forward and this is to be welcomed. Now, one thing that's been of dispute in the current peace mediation talks uh, facilitated by the African Union is the subject of amnesty. Armed groups and former rebels uh, want this, uh, as they do not want to, uh, to be brought to justice for crimes uh, committed during the uh, brutal civil war in the CAR. The Minister had also addressed uh, this issue. Let's take a listen. There are more than a hundred requirements on which there is agreement. Now, the dialogue desired and announced for the coming weeks around October and November under the terms to be defined by the government and the facilitation will make it possible to examine all these questions, including obviously those that could be at the moment, but there is no consensus. There is a justice process underway. There is a special criminal court in place. There are trials that are also conducted by national courts. These criminal courts have made it possible to convict a large number of actors who had committed serious crimes in the Central African Republic. So, justice will take its course, and I think we should give him, give it that time. I think we should avoid having um, preconceptions, and I do not think that there is a will on the part of the Central Africans, at least not to do justice to all those who have been victims of these crimes. rendre justice à tous ceux qui ont été victimes de ces crimes. In agreement with the Central African government, uh, the UN recently launched an offensive against armed groups in the CAR, prompting concerns and questions on the use of force. Irene asked uh, the, uh, Mr., uh, the Minister Head, Mr. Onanga Ananga, about this. Uh, that's uh, the question on the use of force. Was it really necessary? Let's take a listen to his view on this. Toutes les fois que c'est nécessaire, uh, nous avons. Uh, Whenever necessary, we have taken operational measures to ensure compliance with the mandate and above all to ensure the protection of the civilian population. This was a case recently in Bawa in the northwestern region of the country where we had to use lethal means to block the way for elements of armed groups that had caused so much misery and suffering to the civilian population. We did so last year, of course, at IPI and we intend to continue with these efforts whenever necessary. Above all, however, we must have 
avoid giving the impression that we are promoting a military solution to the Central African crisis. There is no such thing. Dialogue is a very good thing. We must encourage it. And I believe that this is a commitment, the call made by the head of state at the high-level meeting on the Central African Republic for him to have a dialogue in good faith between all parties. The Central African Republic, it should be recalled, um, with, will not be at its first agreement. This is not the first mediation effort. However, this time, however, this it will be with the actors. It will be at the African Union Commission. It will be the communication of the, the community of the Central African states. At that point, in implementing the agreement, all parties should know that any violation of the agreement will expose them to a set of measures that the parties who are the guarantors of the agreement.